Hi, welcome to my channel. This video is based on a short video, like a film based on a short story. Uh, I, I put it up and actually I've had a few comments saying, please would you make a longer video about this because it's really interesting. The difference between desperation and attachment, so attachment to the outcome, it's just two different energies. Why can you manifest when you're desperate? Absolutely. You can, uh, and I tell you why you can, because a desperation is almost like a giving in to whatever this is. You're just giving in because you think, oh my God, I'm so desperate. You force yourself onto the road with your desperation for it. And then you go, oh my God, you know, you feel helpless. So what you need to do, if you do feel desperate, is just go with it and, and feel that kind of desperate energy, that um, surrender energy. There is nothing else I can do, but I'm desperate for it and kind of go with that desperation, which probably sounds counterintuitive and, and sounds against most things that I say, but you can be desperate for anything. So I will just, I'm not going to go into detail about the actual case, but it was a court case and it was a few years ago and it was a company against us as a company. And if we had lost, we would have lost our company, basically. It was huge for us. And I felt desperate for to win. I felt we were right, so I did have that on side, but I did feel desperate to have that desperate energy around it. I did do some manifestations, so I did visualise. I didn't know who the judge was going to be, but I still kind of visualised a version of a judge. I didn't see his face much, but got a feeling of him. And I decided that he was going to feel the bias towards us, that he was going to feel that the person in question was not justified and on all of these different points that she had made. And I felt that, but I still felt desperate and I still saw the worst, worst case scenario, still worried about the worst case scenario. And anyway, the time came and I was completely like, oh my God, this is it now, there's nothing I can do. This is the day and whatever is whatever now. So I did kind of have that release with it, uh, but still felt desperate to win, obviously. And then we did win. And he did say half of those things that I'd imagined and all of the points that I had thought that he would think were ridiculous from the other side, he did. And he almost said that and he was going, this has no justification, this has no justification, like everything, every single point. The case, the case went on for five hours and it was um, not great. And you couldn't tell how it was going to go at all. You couldn't tell that he was feeling like that. And then we won. And I was so desperate for that, as you can imagine. It would have been a whole life-changing thing if it hadn't have happened. So that's desperation. So go with the desperation, kind of fall into it as if it's the desperation, you're just falling in to the universe or to reality. You're just falling, let yourself fall. Really, that's the best advice I can give you in that score. I'm sorry if you can hear the rain here. I'm in the conservatory. Why does that happen? As soon as I come and sit here, rain. <laughs> so I do apologise. But actually it's quite relaxing if you kind of get into it. It's quite hip falling on the conservatory roof. Attachment, okay. So whether this is attachment to the outcome or whatever the label is that you want to put on it, what it is is a feeling of lack. So a feeling of lack is I don't have it. I'm frustrated. Everybody else is manifesting. I'm getting older. Time is going on. Nothing's happening. What's going on in the 3D? All I can see is what's now. What's going on now? That's different, that's a whole different energy than desperation. Um, what it is, is telling yourself you can't have it basically, you're holding it off, you've got the door shut on it, uh, and that's a particular energy. So that's what you need to come away from, and you can come away from that by actually dropping yourself into a desperate energy, if that helps. It's whatever helps you. No rules here, there's no you can't do this, you can't do that. There really are no rules whatsoever, and I evolve with this every single day of my life. I will, I've got different feelings inside of me today about different stuff that's going on and it just seems so probable now to me. I can feel the probability of it and it's a few different things inside of me and I just woke up with that this morning because I'm open to feelings just arriving with me, <laughs> something happening. I'm really open to that. I do not consider circumstances. I, I don't even think of a circumstance. I don't see circumstances. I know that things have happened in the past but I just see them as that. I don't see them as the now, which you would have got from the last video that I put up. Um, so don't be afraid of your desperation. Don't start feeling like I can't manifest because I'm desperate, because then you'll just build up that assumption that you can't manifest because you're desperate, but actually you can. Go with that energy and see how that energy feels. And yeah, it's not very nice, it's not great, but it's what it is, you know? And just tell yourself, I, I can manifest whilst I'm desperate. I know I can because Evie said so and she's done it on a big score. That was huge, that. I've done it on other occasions, but that was absolutely huge. 
and um, for it to work out just as I want it through desperation, with desperation. Don't even worry about it. I really just take that concern away from yourself. It's not an issue. What holds us back? A lot of what holds us back is us saying, well, we've got all this attachment going on, so we can't manifest. So just stop saying that to yourself. Stop. I don't really like working with the word assumption, to be honest, because it's just a Neville phrase, the law of assumption. And when we see it as a law, we feel there's rules to stick to, and there really are. It's just stories you tell yourself, just words you say to yourself that have a feeling attached. Just look at it like that. Just say it's stories that you're making up that come true. You don't have to call it assumption. Call it whatever you like. I, I just kind of don't like it because I think that telling somebody to force an assumption is a bit of a weird thing because an assumption is something we feel naturally. So how do you um, force something and then feel it naturally? You really don't. So if you call it something else, it kind of takes you away from that. So yes, you can manifest when you're desperate. You will struggle to manifest when you're feeling the lack, but don't keep telling yourself. Because look, do whatever you need to do to help yourself. If you say to yourself, yeah, I've got these other mixed feelings going on. Just call them mixed feelings on the subject. I've got contradictory feelings on the subject, but still, that doesn't mean that it won't show up in my life. So you're just gently telling yourself a different story. So the story that you're telling yourself about attachment stopping you, just don't do that. I mean, like I said, we do evolve with it. And back in the day, I would have told myself, we can't, you've got attachment, can't manifest with it. But then I started loosening up in that, realizing that you could manifest with some attachment. And now I've almost stopped calling it attachment, really. And again, that's just something that's happened because I've thought, what is attachment really? What, why do we call it attachment? Is that what it is? It's just really a feeling of lack. Well, if I keep telling myself, yeah, I've got these mixed feelings, but it's not going to stop me. At some point it's going to show up. Then I'm going to start. What happens is, it's not that you're changing the rules of work, that changing the law of whatever this is, but you are seeing it differently. So you're changing your perspective. And then what happens is your feelings change according to that new perspective. That's all what happens, really. It's not that you're um, kind of changing the way reality's algorithm works, but you're changing the way you look at it. So then your energy becomes different. So then you do see what you want. Okay, I'm going to stop there. hope this was useful. Um, I'm an author. My books are all listed below. I'll put my latest one up now four based around the law of attraction, one based around self-concept. I am about to launch a teachable course within the next few weeks, which is really in-depth on self-concept, really in-depth course. It's taken a lot of work, but it's really gonna be worth it, I think. And just to let you know that my members area that I do not publicize at all, and I haven't done for a long time, because, purely because, like the premium membership, because I, I wasn't sure what, what I was gonna start offering, how I was gonna go with it, which way I was gonna go. And I thought, what is gonna be the most beneficial to people at the lowest cost that I can offer, possibly offer, and that's really going to be value for money. So I have decided to offer mini courses on there for the premium membership. So they'll probably be once a month, maybe once every six weeks. And the first one is Influencing Energy, a course on influencing energy it will be available on my members area. This is not a teachable thing. This is a whole different thing. And I'm calling it a mini course, but it's actually fairly in depth, to be honest. There's video content on there. There's written content and they will be going up. And that will be, so basically that's £10 a month. So you can sign up on my site for free and get a lot of the modules for free. But if you want the likes of the subliminals and the meditations and these mini courses and to be able to talk to me, um, send me messages via the Ask Evie section that all comes at £10 a month. I can't do it any less than that. That is like the bare minimum I can do it for. But um, yeah, that, that's what I decided to do. So I finally made a decision on that. So I will start publicising it again now and hopefully get some more of you guys in there and joined up. Uh, there's no, well, if you sign up and you only do it for a month, that's fine. There's no, you just cancel when you want. There's no obligation to carry on if you don't want to. And that is that. I think we'll leave it there. <laughs>